Hey guys, Blazin here. So, uh, a bit of a different video this time. I figured I'd make a sort of wish list uh, on changes I want to see on Ryu for Street Fighter 6. Uh, I know I don't upload a lot of Street Fighter content, but I figured, hey, uh, Capcom Cup is uh, is about like next month as of the making of this video. And also, I kind of want to get this out because Tekken 8 comes out really soon. And, uh, you know, after Capcom Cup is over, basically year two of Street Fighter 6 begins with new balance changes and whatnot. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. So, for starters, I want to talk about Ryu's standing medium punch. Uh, right now, it is minus one on block. I would like this to be changed to zero on block. Reasons being is because you have Chun-Li standing medium punch at plus one on block. And then there's Jury at a whopping plus two on block. And, you know, I figured I'm not asking for much here. I mean, it, it could be plus one if Capcom really wanted to, but even I'm, I'm not asking for plus one uh, standing medium punch, at least with zero. And, uh, you know, Ryu is a very neutral character, you know. The, the player makes the character. You can play Ryu defensively or offensively. So that's why I'm just asking for zero. Like, literal just neutral on block uh, would be enough for me. Next thing I want to talk about is his forward heavy punch or his solar flexes. Uh, right now it is plus 6 on hit. Uh, I would like to see this change to like maybe like up to plus 9 or maybe just plus 7. Uh, this is just more of a consistency kind of thing because there are, and I know I'm not the only one, uh, certain other Ryu players can vouch. There are times where you do uh, forward heavy punch and then you do medium punch into DP and uh, unfortunately between the solar plexus and the medium punch it doesn't always connect. Uh, after a drive impact, for example, and I'm like mid-screen, uh, you know, that's kind of like the optimal like combo to do mid-screen, at least from, from my knowledge the last time I played. And uh, I stopped doing that because sometimes solar plexus into medium punch doesn't consistently connect. So what I've been doing alternatively is back heavy kick into DP. And I am losing a bit of damage of that, but uh, you know, at least that one's been more consistently connecting. So, it's just more of a consistency kind of thing. I wouldn't mind it being just maybe just plus 7 on hit. Uh, maybe plus 9 might be a little more, uh, a little bit ridiculous, but, you know, it's just a consistency thing. Next thing I would like to see change is his forward heavy kick. Um, right now, his startup frames is around like 15 frames, as you can see. Um, I don't want to change the startup frames. What I do want to change or improve is let uh, Ryu's legs lift up like quicker uh, unfortunately I don't know the exact frames of like how long does it take for his legs to lift up from the ground uh, so if any of you guys know that you guys can leave that in the comment section but uh, my point is I just want his his legs to raise up faster reason being is because there are times where I, I use this move and I want to intentionally use it to jump over a, uh, a crouching medium kick and unfortunately you know, most of the time it works, and then sometimes it just doesn't work. And then as I was just, you know, just trying to get the forward heavy kick, uh, you know, footage, I got curious, and I was like, wait, uh, Guile has an upside down kick, which also avoids lows. So I decided to test him out, and I found out that while Guile's is slower at 17 frames, so a couple frames slower, Guile's legs actually lift up much faster than Ryu's. Next thing I want to talk about is Ryu's standing heavy punch, heavy kick target combo. Uh, I would personally like to see this target combo be special cancelable, like completely. Not only would I like Ryu to get some extra combo sauce, but one of the main reasons I would like this to be special cancelable is just so he's able to cancel into his Denjin charge. Denjin charge for Ryu is really powerful when he gets it, but unfortunately most of the time he has to be full screen to get it. Uh, I will get into Dungeon Charge a little bit into the video, but that is mainly the main reason uh, I want this target combo to be uh, special cancelable, like, completely. You know, I could go into DP for more damage, or I can go into Dungeon Charge, you know, just for the buff. Oh, 
And that's it for reused normals and command normals. Uh, let's move on to special moves. So the first special move I want to talk about is reuse fireballs. Uh, right now there are a total of uh, 47 frames. I would like to see these decrease down to 45 frames, so just a couple frames less. One of the reasons, or really the main reason being is because his dungeon fireballs are extremely fast and there's a quite a bit of a, a gap or like too much of a big difference between uh, his dungeon fireballs and his regular fireballs. So I figured why not buff his regular fireballs to kind of close in the gap before his, you know, comparing to his dungeon fireballs. And you know, Ryu's supposed to be the fireball Shoto type, so why not make his fireballs a couple frames faster? This will further differentiate him from Ken. Even though Ken's fireball is already a little, uh, I think has a little more recovery, uh, you know, why not just further differentiate that? And also maybe to help him uh, fight against Guile's Sonic Booms a little bit. And then when it comes to his OD fireball, uh, I will just maybe just make it like one frame faster. Right now it's 40 frames. Uh, maybe just bring that down to 39 frames, so just one frame less. I believe Guile's uh, OD Sonic Boom is around 38 frames. So, you know, just a frame closer to Guile's. Next move I want to talk about is his OD Tatsu. Specifically his OD Tatsu, because I would like to see the damage increase from 1000 to 1100. Because right now, from when you go from light, medium, heavy, it goes from uh, 800, 900, and then 1000 damage. And then when you do OD Tatsu, it's still 1000 damage. So, I, this is just more of a damage consistency thing. It's like, why not give me 1100? I mean, spending meter. So, yeah. I would like to see just a small uh, 100 more points added to the uh, OD Tatsu. Just so the damage values are consistent. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is his Air OD Tatsu. Uh, this is just a very, very simple request. And again, another consistency thing where it's like, you know, Ryu's regular tatsu, uh, Air Tatsus can uh, cross up, but not his OD one. And yet, I believe Ken's uh, Air OD Tatsu, which kind of acts as a dive kick, uh, can actually cross up, but Ryu's can't. So this isn't a really a big deal. This is just, again, another consistency thing where it's just like, can you let uh, Ryu's Air OD Tatsu cross up? That, that, that's really about it. All right, let's get through this one quickly. Uh, I want to talk about his heavy and OD uh, Hashogekis, uh, his new moves that he got this game. Again, another damage consistency thing, where it's just like, I would like his heavy Hashogeki to go from 800 up to 900 damage, and then his OD Hashogeki from 900 to 1000 damage. So again, much like what I said with his regular OD Tatsu, uh, a damage consistency thing. Alright, now let's talk about his Denjin Charge. I think despite everything that I've said in this video so far, if they just buff his Denjin Charge, I believe this will, you know, boost Ryu up in the tier list. Buffing Denjin Charge alone, like if this is just like the only thing he got, I think would be a huge deal to Ryu. So the first thing I would do is just change the startup frames from 52 frames down to 51. So just went, uh, one frame less. And then the bigger change, and I know I'm not the only one that's mentioned this, but I would make only his heavy and OD versions of his fireball and Hashogeki spend the charge. That way he's able to throw light and medium fireballs from full screen without spending the charge. And same goes for his Hashogekis. So light and medium Hashogeki and fireballs don't spend the charge, while heavy and OD versions will spend the charge. And also I want to quickly mention his OD uh, Hashogeki while Denjin charge Right now the damage output is 600 points, uh, which is really stupid because his light uh, Hashogeki without Denjin Charge is 700. So why the fuck is it 100 points less than his Denjin version? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I would just increase the OD Hashogeki Denjin Charge from 600 to 700 to at least match the light version.
All right, to end this video off, I'm going to offer something somewhat new uh, that I don't think I've seen a lot of people like mention or bring up. So I'm just going to bring it up here. Uh, I was thinking, you know, since Denjin Charge for Ryu is essentially his V Trigger 1 from Street Fighter 5, I was thinking, why not apply his Denjin Charge to his, to his DPs as well? Because if you remember, if you played Street Fighter 5, uh, Ryu's V Trigger 1, uh, his Denjin stuff you know, did apply to his uppercuts. So I was thinking, why not bring that feature back to in, in Street Fighter 6 and apply, this, and apply the same stuff I mentioned earlier, you know, where his light, his me light and medium uppercuts, you know, they remain the same. But if you do heavy and OD versions, they will spend the charge. And on top of that, since Ryu's Dungeon Charge uh, buffs his supers, his level 1 and level 2 supers, I was thinking, well, if I'm going to apply that to his uh, uppercuts, why not apply that to his level 3 and maybe his CA? And that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, a little different than what I usually do on the channel, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy it if you do play Street Fighter 6, and especially if you're a Ryu main. And, uh, you know, if I have extra time and depending on what happens, maybe I'll make one for Ken, because Ken is usually a side Shoto in past games. Usually my uh, usually Akuma is my, it's my second Shoto I play, and I know he's coming out really soon, but because there was no Akuma, I've been playing Ken a little bit on the side, a little more than I usually would. If I have time, maybe I'll make a video on Ken. And then if I have even more time, maybe I'll make uh, a, my opinions on the drive system. Because I know the drive system can be controversial. Because I know the drive rush thing is a meta. Uh, I know drive parry can be annoying. I know this is more of a personal thing. But even though I've gotten used to drive impact, I'm still not the biggest fan of drive impact. But, you know, like I said, if I have extra time, maybe I'll make a video on those two. Uh, that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want, all that shit. And uh, until next time, peace.